Hey, it's Drodio, the CEO of Storytel. I am here in beautiful Santa Rosa. We just finished an offsite at a winery with a number of users from Fortune 500 companies and Global 2000 companies who are telling us about the importance of data privacy, keeping data within the enterprise in AI use cases. So we have spent the last week building a new service called Sparkle, and I'd like to share what Sparkle is, how it sanitizes data, and how it works with Storytel, which is our main service. So Sparkle.ai is a new open source project that allows a company to basically have it act as a data sanitization pre-processing engine that is used before any data is sent over to Storytel. Now we made this a separate, a separate domain, a separate project that's open source so that you can use Sparkle without ever needing to run it through Storytel. If you have any AI use cases, you might want to use Sparkle to sanitize your data if you are within the enterprise. And so you can use Sparkle completely independently of Storytel. Here's how it works. The first thing that you do when you go to sparkle.ai, or if you're running it locally, if you are going to you know, just use the open source project, which you're welcome to do, but if you just want to consume it as a service and make it easy, you can go to sparkle.ai and you can upload your data. Now, this might be a PDF. It might be a text file. That's what we accept today. We're going to be building support for videos like Zoom videos, MP4, audio like MP3, etc. So you upload the files and then Sparkle will sanitize them. Sparkle will remove... Uh, personally identifiable information. You can give it a whitelist and blacklist data. Maybe you've got a project name. You need to make sure that project name is scrubbed from all the data that you're going to be sending to any AI system, any large language model. You want to make sure that project name isn't there. Revenue numbers, growth numbers, anything that you want to make sure gets sanit sanitized from all the data, you can use Sparkle to sanitize that data. So what Sparkle will do is actually replace it with synthetic data. And when I say synthetic data, what I mean is data that has the same structure as the original data, but is not the actual original data. So if it's a person's name, it'll pick a random other person's name. And so you can think of this as like a data mapping. There is the original data, and then there's the replacement synthetic data. And what Sparkle will actually do is it will output a zip file. And this zip file contains for every piece of data that you uploaded, so if you uploaded a PDF, it'll have converted that PDF into a text file. It'll give you the text file with the synthetic data, as well as a mapping key. And we call this a data dictionary. So it's gonna say, I replaced uh, Mary Jane with John Smith. And so you are the only one that has that data dictionary. This new file with the synthetic data, nobody knows that it used to say Mary Jane. And so for each file that you uploaded, it will give you back the synthetic data in a text file along with the key, the data dictionary. So Storytel or uh, Sparkle takes all that and turns it into a zip file. So now what can you do with the zip file? Well, let's take the Storytel example. So if you want to use Storytel and let's say that you want to create a virtual me uh, from Storytel, I want to bring my data alive. Maybe I'm a product manager and I want to be able to create a virtual me for my customers so that I can chat with my customers. And really what I'm chatting with is all the data I have about my customers. Maybe I've been doing Zoom calls for the last year or two years and I've got a lot of Zoom calls. I've got hundreds of hours of Zoom calls and I want to be able to chat with all that content in the form of a customer, a customer virtual me interaction. Well, you've got two options. One option is that you can just upload the zip file to Storytel. So there's an option when you're uploading knowledge into a virtual me that you can just upload the Sparkle zip file. Now, if you do that, you're giving us your data dictionary and you may wanna do that, you may not. The advantage to doing that is that when your users are actually interacting with Storytel, and let's say there's a virtual me and your customer name is Mary Jane, we can actually share back in the interactions the real data or the swapped data because we know what the zip file contains, which is the mapping key. So if you want to share the data dictionary, the zip file with us, then we are able to give your users a better user experience because we can give them back the actual data or we can give them the synthetic data. But this is the important part. On the back end, we are only using the synthetic data. We are only sending the synthetic data to OpenAI, for example, or vector databases, or different processing engines. We are only sending out into these other services 
the synthetic data. So your enterprise data is not being sent to those third parties. That's a really great reason to use Sparkle, even if you choose to give us the data dictionary because you wanna have a better user experience we are still, you're still getting a lot of value because we're not sharing that actual data out into third-party services. That's been really important for enterprise customers. We've heard a lot of you say, I just can't have my enterprise data being sent out into large language models. I'm afraid it's gonna be used for training those models. I just, I don't trust them. And so this is a way for you to make sure that doesn't happen. Now, if you, are, if, you have, if you have a security posture that's even stricter where you say, I don't even want Storytel to know what the data mapping looks like, then you can take the zip file, which contains all these raw files that have the swap data. You can unzip the zip file, and then you can just upload it as if it's just regular text or PDF or other data. So Storytel won't even know that it's synthetic data. You're effectively taking this file, which is the output file. You are keeping this key so that you know what the mapping looks like, but you're effectively taking this file right here and you are uploading it to Storytel. In that case, we don't even know that it's synthetic data. And it just looks like regular data to us, regular raw data to us. And in that experience, the virtual me wouldn't have the person's real name because we don't have that key, that data dictionary to be able to present the real name. So it would just have the synthetic name and you would be chatting with the synthetic version and you would have to remap that on your side. You would have to say, I know that John Smith is actually really Mary Jane. Storytel doesn't even know that. So those are two options right there. So we'd love to hear more about this. We'd love to hear how it works for you, if it's valuable for you, what you're using Sparkle for. We're really excited about this service and this open source project. We invite you to contribute to it, to get involved in it. Really looking forward to seeing what happens here. Ciao.